Hi everyone. In this session, I'll give you a demonstration of uh, how can you do file recovery from your published uh, SCOM folder. It may happen because of uh, you know bad situation. You may lose your authoring tool file, and you may have no way out. And in such situation, uh, recovering your media files, your images, your audio and video, uh, it becomes extremely important uh, so that you can salvage your work and maybe start from there. So uh, what you need to do is you need to go to Dr. E-Learning and you can make a free account for yourself. And then you can sign in using that account. Okay, so you will see a screen like this and you can then start with creating a project uh, you can give uh, any name to your project over here so imagine i have a and then you can upload the the, the zip file that um, you know uh, for that particular course you have so i'll do that i'll press upload it will upload the file and then you will see it will be go in a waiting mode um, it will, the background process in this tool will analyze the file, look at everything. It will take a minute or two, depending on the size of your uh, file. However, just to save some time for this demonstration, let me uh, not wait for this. Let's start with something which is already processed. So I had another project by the name of the fast car. I'll probably use that for this demo. And by the way, you know, this, uh, this has got done. So it doesn't take too much of time, but let me use this example, which is more media rich to make the point. So when you press go to project, uh, you will be welcomed with the project dashboard and there are various options. Uh, but one thing that you need to see is a distribution of multimedia. Uh, you can get to see, for example, in this course, which is of about 25 MB, uh, you know, 49% of it goes into audio. So it's a very audio rich kind of a course. And then there are text and then, you know, do you have uh you know about seven odd mb of images and if you want to focus on a particular media you can of course toggle this on so for example i did not see much of video so if i want to focus there i can just turn off uh, everything else and it will show it in that proportion um now uh, another way is that in case you're curious uh, what is a media distribution so you can also hover over these uh, you want, may want to look at images, for example. So there are 131 files and total media size is 7 MB. You have audio 55 files with 12 MB of space and there's one video. So let's start with the recovery process. My objective is to recover my image, video and audio. So I'll do that. Now, if you notice there's a button known as edit file, you have to click this. Uh, once you click this, you see the screen and it lists down all the medias that your project has, the published SCOM file has. Uh, and if you go to show filter, that is where the, some, some very awesome features are there. And these features allow you to very quickly find out your file. One way is that you go to the file, unzip it, and maybe use your Windows Explorer or a Finder and just manually search for the file, which could be useful, but as you can understand, it, it is not designed to really make you find a file that easily. Um, so the way this tool has been designed, it allows you to uh, an easy search. I'm just going to give you a demonstration of the same. So imagine um, I'm interested in my image recovery, so I can go, I can mark uh, the media type as image. And there are some other options which you can use. Uh, I'll not dwell into later uh, in this session. You can uh, sort it by size or name or whatever you want to. And you can also filter it versus the size. Now, the technique, the trick is that if you're looking for icons, you typically look for small byte size. And if you're looking for large cover images and everything, then you may want to go for higher, you know, bytes or megabytes of images. Um, so anyways, I'm not going to choose any of this option, which means I will be going by the default descending order scheme. If I press search, 
you can see I get a listing of all the medias uh, that are there in a, in a descending order. Uh, and then if I click any one of this media, I will get to see it. Uh, I'll get some idea of its dimensions and everything, and then I can download it. So that way uh, you can do it. But as you can understand, this is pretty difficult because then you have to virtually go through each of the file. So we have provided you one very interesting feature, which is smart preview. You turn on the preview and you again press search this time. Now, not only you're seeing the media, but you're also getting a reference of its image. Now, how powerful is that? Because imagine um, uh, there's a particular image that you're looking for in a certain sequence of activity. Uh, you can just quickly, scurriedly, you know, search for it this way. Um, so that's how you can recover your media. You can download whichever file you want to, or if you don't, uh, if you don't want to download, you at least know the relative path in your zip folder. For example, in your unzip file, if you go to mobiles and then you look for this file, that is where your uh, corresponding PNG is. Uh, so you get to see the entire path also. Okay, same way you can do for video. Um, you can search for video. I mean, luckily in this course is just one video. I can as well um, play it here. Uh, but there could be a situation where in your course there are more than one videos, in which case this will be extremely helpful. You can search with these various filters, you know. Um, and the third part is that I will go and search for my audios. My preview mode is on, so I'll press search. And as you can see, all the audios are listed over here. And not only that, you have an option to play them and uh, you can, it's pre-paginated, so you can go to any particular page and uh, listen to a particular audio if you wish to. For example, let's randomly choose this one. That's not correct. Click to view the correct response. Now suppose you wanted this file, you can go ahead and you know download it. So you can easily go ahead and um, search for a you know particular recording that you were looking for. There's some smart um, tricks and techniques. You know, For example, if you're looking for instructional text, uh, then you can, they're generally small. So imagine that you press a button and there is this message that plays. Typically they are smaller in size. So if you do a, a sort by ascending order and search for them, you would, uh, you know, first, uh, so these the smaller files you will find as instructional. Click on next to proceed. Look at this, right? Click on next to proceed. So. Click on next to proceed. Just happens they're common, but let's look at Click this. on next to proceed. Yeah. So this is how you are able to extract smartly your audios. You can always download it from here. Um, and uh, but let me just go ahead and um, show you one more thing. So, so for example, um, I can pick up one of the audio, and then it also gives you a little information like you know, what is the duration of this audio? So um, that could be very useful to you. Uh, so in summary, uh, using this mode, coming to this screen, you are able to find your files, you can preview them and download and assemble them in the order you want to. So that's what I wanted to share in this part of the presentation. In the second demonstration, I will show you one nice hack through which you can generate your transcripts. So imagine you have lost your transcript also. Uh, so I will to show you the technique of doing that. Thank you.